My name is Justin Chappell. And I'm Kaylin Allen. And I'm gonna be teaching Kaylin how to make a really fun recipe. Um, I'm super proud of it and I know Kaylin's gonna love it. So, should we get started? Let's make it happen, baby. Okay, so you just got a bunch of boxes in the mail and now you're gonna cook. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Oh, it's real festive. Look at that. <laughs> I like that. Loving crispy tree. Oh. And that's your recipe. This is my recipe. Okay. I didn't know if that was secret or not. I was like, oh, is this the receipt? Because I, I don't have the money for it. We're going to make some Lovin' Crispy Treats using the new Lovin' Dutch Oven. It sounds like one of those old school jingles. Like, the Lovin' Dutch Oven. Lovin' Dutch Oven. Lovin' Dutch Oven. Not only are you a star on Instagram, but you're a singer. You know, I, every now and then I, I like to loosen up the pipes. So yes, we are making my Lovin' Crispy Treats, but rather than just making them with cereal, we're gonna make them with cereal and popcorn. All right. And I guess my first question for you is, have you ever made popcorn in a Dutch oven? Not in a Dutch oven. I've used popcorn makers. And I used to work at a movie theater, so I used to make a lot of popcorn. Okay, so you're used to like popcorn makers like this big. <laughs> Correct. And now you're gonna have a popcorn maker like this big. We like that. Okay, good. So first things first, we're gonna do what um, we call in the cooking industry, mise en place. Who? Mise en place, should we say it together or? <laughs> yeah, yeah, mise en place, is that right? There you go, perfect. So mise en place is sort of a classic cooking term and it means to have mm -hmm. all of your things in their place so that when you start cooking, it's a lot easier. Gotcha, okay. Okay, so first and foremost, you need your Lovin' Dutch oven, which I think I can see right there. Yes. And then you need a baking dish. I got a blue one. It looks like you got a red one to match your kitchen. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So that color is called Cerise. Cerise, that's bougie. I like that, Cerise. <laughs> I'm gonna name my child that, Cerise. I'm gonna be like, Cerise, come here. <laughs> you need a couple spatulas. Right here. You need three tablespoons of oil. So I think that clear liquid you got is your oil. Okay. So then next you need your um, popcorn kernels. Got them. Some butter, which I did not send you, but you told me you had it. Yep, I do. There's three tablespoons right here. Okay, so next up you need your candy colored chocolates. You should have about a half a cup. You could put those into a little ramekin. You're gonna need um, one 10 ounce bag of mini marshmallows, which I think I see sitting there. Yes, okay. You can, and then I'm gonna put this over here in this bowl, right? Yeah, you can put it in the bigger one. Okay, so next up is our fruity cereal. So you should have a big bag of it, but you don't need a whole bag. You only need two cups of that. And I'm putting this in the, in the glass bowl? Yeah, put it in your glass bowl. And then you should just have your sprinkles hanging out. You can put those in a little ramekin. All right, now. I already did mine, but you're gonna wanna butter your baking dish. Gotcha. <laughs> you're gonna take your spatulas and okay. hold it over your baking dish. Okay. And then you're gonna spray it. Yep, spray both sides. You'll see how much that's gonna help you later on because that's gonna prevent your rubber spatulas from sticking to your crispy squares. So now you're gonna turn on your um, Dutch oven. You're gonna put it over medium high heat. Okay, medium high. So in goes three tablespoons of oil. Pop it in. All right, so now you're gonna take those corn kernels. You're gonna get them in real quick. Put your lid on. And once you hear like the first pop, then you know your popcorn's gonna start popping. And basically what you'll do after that is you'll sort of shake the pan occasionally while it's popping. Great. You see, I heard my first pop. Did you not hear pop? Mm-mm, that's it. It's hot though. All right, well, I'm gonna have to go ahead of you here because mine's starting to pop. Mine's real popping. Like mine is popping. Oh, it's popping, it's popping, it's popping. There you go. Okay, so shake it like every three seconds or four seconds. And then you know it's done when there's like two or three seconds between the pops. Okay, it's yeah. slow down. Then you did it. Now you're gonna pour it onto that baking sheet. Make sure you don't have any kernels because you don't want the kernels to go into your crispy squares. It seems so simple. And then next thing you know, you're using like 30, 30 pieces of kitchen equipment. You know, that is an analogy to life. You think you got it figured out? Then all of a sudden, boom, bam, diggity, you gotta readjust. What's important is that you just bounce back, baby. Yeah, no, I'm separating because, see, probably at your house, you probably got somebody to wash your dishes, but 
Kaylin gotta wash them over here and I ain't doing all that. So, boy, we go. <laughs> are we ready for step two? We're ready. All right, so next thing we're gonna do is you're gonna take your butter, pop it into your Dutch oven. All right, so we're gonna turn this over medium low. Now, once your butter melts, you're gonna add your marshmallows. Ooh. And then you're gonna start stirring. And your pot shouldn't be hot, because you don't wanna burn them. You wanna melt them nice and slow. Low and slow is the way to go. Low and steady wins the rice, just like the tortoise in the hair. Just like the tortoise mm -hmm. in the hair. So I, I, I basically created this recipe to celebrate pride. And I was like, I'm gonna bring this to all my pride parties. And then I was like, Nobody at these pride parties is gonna be eating these crispy treats. <laughs> I would. <laughs> all right, it's all melted. All right, so now turn off your heat. This is a real fun part. All right, so my first question is, what is the color of your aura? Ooh, I've always been told I have a, a golden aura. Ooh, okay, well we don't got golden in your packet, so you're gonna have to choose. <laughs> but we got a little lime green. Okay. A little wicked inspired. Yeah, 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 a little defined gravity. <laughs> All right, so you're gonna do a little lime green. I'm gonna do a little neon pink. Okay. Add one drop, you stir it in, and then you get to adjust accordingly. However green or pale green you want. Yeah, this is pretty. It's giving very like key lime pie. Ooh, I like that. Actually, I think I'm gonna add some def other colors in here. I think I'm gonna add it with the little pink. Let's see what, I don't know what pink and green make. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, that's more like red. <laughs> oh, okay, that's kind of cute. Okay, so you're gonna add your popcorn, you're gonna add your um, cereal, and you're gonna mix it really well. And you kind of gotta go pretty quick, so because it solidifies pretty quickly. Okay. Popcorn. Get it in, get it all in. So what I like to do is I like to go to the bottom and scrape up all the marshmallow and like fold it over the top. And it's gonna start to look real stretchy and stringy. Yeah, I see that. Ooh, I'm getting a workout here though. So once it's pretty well mixed and it's like slightly cooled down a little bit, now we're gonna add our candies. Sprinkle them in. I like the sound of that. Let's do a jingle real quick. All right, I'm gonna play the instrument and you'll sing Love in Dutch Oven. Here we go. Okay. Love in Dutch Oven, Love in Dutch Oven, Love in, Love in Dutch Oven, yeah. There you go. <laughs> Going straight to the top, okay? <laughs> and once you think you're ready to go, you're gonna you're gonna pour scrape the whole thing into your um, baking dish that you butter that you sprayed. Excuse me. I mean, you could really eat it like this, but we're gonna we're gonna turn it into bars. Mine is real sticky. Uh huh. And you just push it in, push it into the corners. How's yours look? Is it pretty? This is mine. Ooh. Last but certainly not least. You get to you get to get the sprinkles out, okay? And we're gonna sprinkle, right? Yep. Wow. It just makes it extra fun. I mean, this is a, a sweet recipe. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> it's like sugar on sugar on sugar with some butter mixed in. <laughs> now, here's the thing: you don't get to eat yours yet because yours has to cool. But you, I'm guessing, you went ahead of the curve. See, I knew it. I knew it. You was gonna be ahead of the curve. Oh. Bon but we're gonna make it a little bit better. And you can do this with yours too because you got some candles, right? Oh, you right, you right. Okay. Happy pride to you. Happy pride to you. Happy pride to you. Happy Pride to My wish was to cook with you again. Period. Well, that's already set in stone, okay? <laughs> I think with that, I think we're done, right? Yeah, I guess so. I'll cheers with you. Cheers. Here, I'll taste it really quick before we go. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Sweet, salty, chocolatey. Boom, love it. Well, thank you everybody for joining us here. I am absolutely loving my loving Dutch oven. Make sure you get yours today and happy pride everybody. And last but not least, I'm Kaylin Allen. And I'm Justin Chapel. See you later.